Shalom, it's your brother Yara. Come again with another lesson. And this won't be a, this lesson won't be entitled, Can You Judge Someone? Alright? There's a lot of questions out there. Well, who are you to tell me what to do? And you know what I'm saying? Who are you? You not God, you know what I'm saying? When someone's in the wrong, they love to pin the other person who's giving them uh wisdom. Put, pinning them down in a wrong manner, man. Basically bashing them because they got caught or they in the wrong. Okay. So that's what I'm going to be going into. And, um, you know, hope everything is edifying. Without further ado, let's give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Bahashim, Kodash. All right, that's the true ancient pillar of Hebrew tone of the Lord spoken in ancient of days, which this world today eagerly calls God and Jesus Christ. All right, and let's give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who we learn from. I have hundred percent truth. All right, and also a side taste to the elder of my camp, Chazak, who I teach and who I teach under in the camp of men in Israel here in Greenville, South Carolina. And shalom to you, men and women, Akonakwa, all right, who truly believes our testimony and in, in the biblical uh, beliefs. All right, in the breakdowns. Through through the uh, Yahweh Shmi Shah, and also the speckled bird, though who look like the heathen, it says Shalom to you, who sincere brothers and sisters, all right, who's pushing this truth in these latter days, man. And without further ado, man, um, I'm gonna start with Isaiah chapter fifty eight and verse one, man. All right, and it says. <clears throat> This is Isaiah chapter 58 from the top. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression in the house of Jacob their sins, man. All right? So we're here to show our, our people the tra their transgressions. We're here to show our people the things that they're doing wrong, the things they have committed, man, the things in the, in the straight ways they're going in, you know, as in, in the ways of the world, telling them to turn back and repent from their sins, man, to repent from their, their wrongdoings so that they may have salvation. All right, coming back into the true names of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashmi Abashah. All right, and keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of their ability and the land of their captivity, man. All right, keeping the holy days, keeping the Sabbaths. All right, and not pertaining themselves to the things of the world, turning from it, renewing their mind. All right, these are the things that we're giving our people, the, the information that we're telling our people, warning our people of the things that are to come. Okay, this is, you know, saying we are the prophets the Lord has sent. OK, but you have to be the one who the Lord put the spirit on to understand that. We are here to judge. This is not coming from our mouth. It's coming from the Heavenly Father's mouth. All right. As we go into John chapter 12. Guess what? Forty-eight. Yeah. John chapter twelve and forty-eight. Let me see. Yeah. It says he that rejecteth me and receive not my words have one that judges him. The word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. You see that? It says for I have for I myself not spoken of myself, but the Father which sent me. He gave me a commandment which I should say and what I should speak. You see that? See that? That's self-explanatory right there, man. We we not the ones who are saying it's the heavenly Father, man. He had put His Spirit in us to to, to tell you and, and condemn you of your sins. Well, not well, yeah, judge you of your sins, man. Basically, rebuking you so that you can. Come to light, man. To 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 step out, out, step away from the darkness, which is the ways of the world, which is the 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 the, uh, the confusion and and the doctrines, all the things of the uh, the wisdom of man, which is considered con uh, controversial to the scriptures, man. And also in John seven and twenty four.
says judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. All right. We're here not to judge based off whether you look like you're going to listen or whether you're not going to listen. We're here to speak the truth to our people only, man. Regardless if you listen or not. Regardless if you here for bear. You know what I'm saying? We don't care about how you look or what color you is. As long as you have the spirit of of of, of a Hebrew Israelite. As long as you consist of the uh, 12 tribes of Israel. It doesn't matter what you look like. We know our people have been scattered amongst the four corners of the earth. As long, as long as you have the spirit to to retain the knowledge and to quicken within your spirit, man, to to to, to take heed to this doctrine, then we're here to we're here to, to to help learn you, man. We're not here to to push down you because you're not dark. We don't teach color and, and, and truth, man. We teach only the wisdom the Lord has given us to teach, which is his word. All right. And this is uh, uh, John chapter eight and 15 also. And it says, "Ye judge after the flesh; I judge no man." It says, "And yet, if you if I judge, my judgment is true, for I am not alone, but I but I and the Father that sent me." You see that? You see that, man? Man. <laughs> so we know that the Lord has given man to judge, man. It says, "Uh." Also, also, it's in uh, for the Lord reveals his secrets unto the prophets, man. Roughly paraphrasing. So all the knowledge we pertain, the Lord has given us, man. He has given us these breakdowns. He has given us these, uh, these new learnings, these new teachings, man. Searching and 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 uh, as in First Timothy, show thyself approved, man. He has given us the 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 spirit to do these things, man. So understand that yes, we man can judge you according to the scriptures, because if you're stepping out of the if you're stepping out of line, if you're going against the law, uh, the law, statutes, commandments, man, then you're breaking them. Then you must be corrected. You can't say you're a man of the Lord and you breaking the, the law. It doesn't work like that. You can't be lukewarm when you're coming to the truth, and you can't do what you want to do. There's nothing simple about this truth, man. So if you want to be simple minded, then you need to go on. But for the ones who wants to hear and obey the Lord, then these, these are the ones who needs to stay and to continue to do what's right. Continue to do what's right in the eyes of the Lord. Because judgment is coming, man. And it ain't gonna be in no one's no one's mercy. No one's it ain't gonna be in no one's control what's gonna happen in these last days. And with that, I'm gonna end it. Shalom.